Guys, yeah, so this patch is they added a new NPC called Octavian. And everything's coming along, nothing really to talk about. This new patch they added this NPC that has 30 M30 contracts and some minor things. Let me show you. <laughs> Hope C4 doesn't freeze. Uh, they, they do allow you to use gems to speed up your contractors, permanent contracts, and social contracts. I wouldn't say it's worth it, but it's a nice touch. Updated achievements, ability, uh, added to new ship, change a bit of the, another ship that I don't own, so I know nothing about. Please don't hang. Please don't hang. Ah. Ugh. Why do you do this to me, Seaport? Why? Uh, anyways, this video is pretty much done if you're looking about uh, updates. <laughs> I don't really have anything to add. Not really. Not Nothing since the last video. Nothing special. So why make this video? I make this video because... Um, oh, I can't click on this. Oh, I can. So when I went to the second part of Cleopatra, the last five, 10 missions or so, you start to notice, if you read the text, is that Caesar's died. And in this one, which is actually pretty good, name his nephew Octavian as his sole heir. 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 Not heir. Heir. <laughs> and... But Cleopatra says that the, the only true heir, 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 not heir. <laughs> Of oh, Caesar is Cleopatra's son. And you see there's a conflict there. And they introduce Octavian as the other NPC. I told myself, there's no way I can just sit here and not make a video about this. Because it's very interesting. It's not about Seaport, but it's about uh, a bit about Roman history. So, uh... Let me go to that. Oh, don't worry about this. Let's talk about Julius Caesar. And for reference, this is the Wikipedia page, because where else can you learn about a bunch of things pretty, you know, just one search away. So, I obviously is not a, <laughs> I, I'm not a historian. And will obviously not do any justice in terms of the his history of Julius Caesar. All these things, you know? power control in the Mediterranean, what time it is, 40 BC, battles, a civil war, you know, dictatorship, and assassination, which was mentioned in Seaport. You know, just paragraphs you can read hours into. And if you're like me, each of these little links here will bring you to more text. And in the blink of the eye, you've, you've spent five hours on Wikipedia. You know, if if you're like me, you'll find some sections of Wikipedia like this could take you 10 hours to read and you feel like you haven't read anywhere close where you want to. More addictive than Facebook. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Knowledge. Very addictive. So, I, so I'm not going to go over this too much, at least on the details because I don't know how to say some of these names, I don't even know any of the details about it anyways other than I guess what everyone knows is you know Julius Caesar, uh, Roman Empire, you know, that kind of stuff and if you read the text you see how Cleopatra comes into play and then she ends up after having part of I guess where the Egypt ruling over what you what we know now as Egypt and it was all pretty straightforward until right now Caesar was killed. Killed by whom? Well, there's a there's a Wikipedia page for that. And if you scroll down a bit, it tells all the reasons, some of the stuff. Uh, some stuff are debated by historians because how it goes down, because you know, there's no smartphones at those era and nobody knows how it went down. But there's a bunch of conspirators. 
and one of the people that Cleopatra, if you look in, oh, it still shows, is that Cleopatra teamed up with would be Mark Anthony. And I think he's on the assassination list. Mark Anthony? Let me do a real search. Oh. More things that I haven't read before making these videos. I see. So he wasn't killed because, symbolically, <laughs> that only Julius Caesar should be killed and not Mark, Mark Anthony. <sighs> wow. I guess spared by the fact that they don't want to ruin the image of killing a tyrant. Or, yeah. At least they see Julius Caesar's tyrant. Today I learned. I mean, I don't know any if any of you are interested in the history, other than the yay events, yay gems, yay, you know, but if if you're the type that actually likes history and see, wow, there's it's a complex power struggle, and at some point you get enough people to, you know, kill Julius Caesar, which is, yeah, very, very powerful <laughs> politicians. And you can lose hours into this. I've read some before, but nowhere close. So if you're interested, I can give you links to read it. I'll probably put the links in here. Uh, or you can just do, you know, if you just search Julius Caesar on Wikipedia, you'll see all these links. And then you'll, you'll probably complain to me if you like, if you like these history stuff. You realize that uh, there's too much stuff to read. <laughs> too much stuff to read. Uh, each of these are linked to this and that. Ooh. Now, TV, you know, um, at some point he becomes Augustus. And at least that's what I searched when I, when I typed in Octavius. That's Augustus. And in, in Seaport, you'll see that uh, Caesar's last will, at least in this text, is Octavian is so hair. Air. So air, not hair. Air. Nobody likes to be hair. Uh, so he was named Octavius, but then at some point, where is, let me search air, yep, see, this is the portion where Caesar named Octavian as heir, and at some point later, around 27 BC, he is the empire. I guess a part of part of it because they he and a bunch of other people power got some portions and just basically ruled military dictators here right here it's a bunch of people divide the Roman Republic and crazy stuff there's no clear borders basically unless you know each version of on the map which is totally outside my ability of knowledge but crazy stuff I don't know I'm just gonna make a short video like this so you guys can see wow there's a, there's a lot of rich historical um, stuff written about these topics and it's not only this is all you get you can read way more than this you can have paragraphs 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 if you're willing to read this I feel it pretty interesting um, these power struggles, you know, they have a senate, you can read about their little, uh, the, well, not little, you can read about the, their great, uh, I guess if you will, civilization, and how governance is done, and how, you know, military forms of governance come and go. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. <laughs> Anyways, my rambling is pretty much done. Each of these people have a bunch of stuff written about them. Look, you can even see a little page of uh, Pompey's here. Oh, look, Caesar. Let's fight. Oh, wow. Where to build forts, all these things. This is 
yeah, it's just tons of things to read about. You can just spend days reading about this. I guess years if you if you, if you're like a historian level, it's yeah, like it never stops. There's links, one page with a bunch of links. What's this? I have no idea what this is. I have no idea. I've never seen this. It's, oh, it's a place. Okay, I didn't even know this exists. So there we go. There's lots of things I don't even know. Paintings, ah, more marbles, coins. You went. Oh, this this is a mess. Just look at this. Just look at how crazy this is. Can you imagine a seaport is anywhere like that? You have like ten different, <laughs> ten different NPCs, <laughs> all have their own story, and they're vying for each of them. And then you might ha you might have to you know choose between we which which uh, contractors to send to because you know, if you send if you go to one of these places, the other guys will be pissed off and they don't want to. They don't, they're not going to give you missions. Think of the possibilities. Frankly, I, I wish Seaport gives you a little bit of that, like um, choice, unique choices. I mean, yeah, I'm in Canada, so I don't even know this area very well. But boy, oh, there's 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 the there's the names. There's Octavianus. I'm not very good in Latin. So I guess at some point he controlled this bit of land. Oh, this is Asia apparently. <laughs> okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Which I can spend hours reading this and not make YouTube videos. <gasps> but uh, yeah, actually. This is what I want to know. If you, if you guys know anything about these things, uh, these topics, tell me. Because I would be interested now. Like Playing Seaport is nice, but if that's all the text I can get in terms of like uh, the details, it seems a little bit shallow. I wish they add a little bit more of these that you can read into if you if you want it or if, if anyone that plays Seaport wants it. Because I feel that's part of exploration, right? Just like exploration with ships. Uh, you can explore the past when you understand the history, the background. Um, oh boy, and I, have to, I would like to read all of this, but I do not have the time. <laughs> trade-offs, trade-offs. Hmm. Okay, now I give the trade-offs <laughs> to you. You guys can stay up to read if you want. Um, and tell me if you like, if you think these are important, and this would be interesting to, if, um, if the Seaport Makers or Pixel Federation add more of this into the game, so then you can feel, I guess, relive parts of it. We don't have warships though. We don't have, we don't have a, we don't have ships like this. And that doesn't look very nice. Maybe that's, maybe that's a good thing. We don't have to. We don't have to sink ships. So okay, <laughs> it's been thirty minutes of me ran randomly rambling about some, some thoughts about the the Roman Empire and, and and assassination and all these NPCs. Well, no contractors uh, from the historical era, like millennia ago. So I feel it's interesting. I I prefer these over things that are less. I guess less rich in history because sending ships out is pretty old well until up to the modern era we do have steamships I have to give them that so there's like you know um, Edison which is cool this is cool too I just feel this one has like two NPCs three NPCs and they're all the text is very good like these stuff actually tells you some of this stuff is related to you know real historical thing and I think there's there's real historical value to pointing these out. But I guess they could do more, or at least say, hey, this is pretty cool. Do you want to read the Wikipedia page? Nah, I'm joking. No, no company's going to do that. <laughs> Who's going to read hours upon hours upon hours of the assassination of Julius Caesar? You too? Where's that line? But I... YouTube child, but I don't know if that's 
that was contested. I don't know. But interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. And I'll see you next time when there's something real to talk about. <laughs> but until then, if you feel like this is interesting, if they, this actually makes the contract way more interesting for you as it has been for me, leave a comment. I don't I, I leave this an open question because I don't have it's not a yes and no and it might be very interesting. Maybe you have other ideas, feel free to post them. Uh, goodbye.